<clears throat> Welcome back to Whiskey Bonded. I'm Conrad. Tonight, we're drinking Old Forester 1920 and talking about four whiskeys that I bought and regret buying. I shouldn't have bought them. It was a bad idea. And three, that I should have bought, that I could have bought, and that I didn't. And now I wish I would have. So let's get that out of the way. So part of the problem with whiskey journey is you don't know what something is like until you try it, right? So how do you know what something is like without buying it? Therein lies the problem. Now, you see me talking if you've been watching the channel and I'll put a link into the video, the last one that I did about small bottles, right? These little bad boys that you can buy and try. But what if you can't find these? What if you just got to roll the dice and try something? Well, I've got four whiskeys that I bought that I thought was a good idea at the time and pretty much immediately regretted. So let's get into it. Number one, what was the first bottle? Well, oh yeah, Lefroy 10. Now, there are going to be more than one of you that are not happy about this one, but I got to tell you, I don't like it. Now... Don't think that I don't like any Islas at all. I do like Islas. In fact, I've got a bottle of one of my favorite ones sitting here right now. Lagavulin 16. Love it. It's fantastic stuff. Drink it all the time. But Lafroig is different. And the best thing I can tell you is it tastes like smoke, which is nice. But it also tastes like iodine. And I just couldn't like it. I mean, I tried it neat. I tried it with water. I tried it with ice. I, st I just can't. I just can't get over it. It just smells like medicine. Not for me. Regret it. Wish I hadn't bought it. If you're wondering why the bottle is so empty, um, it's because I actually disliked it so much I gave it to a friend and had to borrow it back to do the video. So, they, no, don't like that one. Number two. Ah, now you may have seen this one recently in some people's videos. This is the Woodford Reserve Master's Collection 5 Malt Stouted Mash. Yeah, that's right. It's a long name. A little too much. Let's shorten them down, Woodford, would you? Um, what can I say about this? I actually got this bottle, and I paid over $100 for it. Like 109 bucks or something like that. I got it because I... I actually have this one, which is the 119.8. If you get a chance to get one of these, buy it. It's fantastic. I was really happy about this one, and it seems like most people online were happy about it too. So I figured, look, whoop. no brainer, right? No, no, not a no brainer. It's, it's just weird. I mean, I don't want to get into the tasting notes because that's not what I'm trying to do right now, but my wife tried it and nailed it. Play-Doh. Play-Doh Play -Doh was the tasting note that we got. And it it, it kind of does. It kind of has a flavor and a smell of Play-Doh. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're into eating Play-Doh. I'm not. But if you're into eating Play-Doh, we're not going to get it. If not, not one that I'd recommend. Three. Ah, the old Willet Pot Still Reserve. Now, this one is different. These two are because I just don't like them. This one's different. This really isn't bad. I mean, well, it's not a bad bourbon. I like it. I mean, and what's not to like about the about the bottle, right? I mean, it's really freaking cool, except for the fact that if you've been watching my Instagram, at Whiskey Bonded, you'll see a little video that I did with this bottle that just shows you exactly how ridiculous this bottle is. I mean, it's so big. It's tall it's wide it's clunky you, you know you can't really pour it very easy it doesn't it doesn't fit on any standard shelf if i were you i wouldn't buy this i mean unless you just want it as a as a showpiece as a display piece again check out my video on instagram and, and you'll see the best thing that i could figure out to do with it but it just makes no sense at all it's just so huge and ridiculous and the bourbon inside is good but it's not good enough to put up with the ridiculousness that is this bottle. Now, 
This one is in even a different direction. And this one hurts my heart a little bit, so. <sighs> Drink to numb the pain, I guess. That's not funny. <sighs> McAllen edition number six. Now, hold on. It's not this bottle of McAllen edition six that I regret buying. It's this bottle of McAllen Edition 6 that I regret buying. Why do I regret buying McAllen Edition 6? Well, because when I first got it started into whiskey, I thought, part of me thought, well, I'll buy some bottles, I'll open some, I'll drink some, and some of them I'll buy and I'll save them because they're going to be very valuable. I actually happen to have a bottle of Milton Very Rare that I bought for nostalgic reasons. It's fantastic whiskey. I really love it. I opened it. I drink it. Uh, but it's gone up so much in value. My bottle that was like under two hundred dollars now is it's like two grand to to get your hands on one. So my genius thought process was, well, I'll buy some of these limited editions. I know that the McAllen edition one and two and three and so on have gone up in value quite a bit. I mean, the, the McAllen edition one's probably getting close to two grand. So I'm like, well, I'll buy a McAllen edition six and I'll hang on to it. And I actually did get. A really good price on these. I bought these for retail, about $130, right? Pretty good. They've already gone up in value significantly. Here's the problem. I'm not going to sell them. I'm not a liquor store. I'm going to go on Craigslist and try and sell them. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I just didn't realize it at the moment that I wasn't going to do it. And I know that a lot of people trade them and stuff, but it's just unlikely for me to do that. I mean, maybe, but I haven't opened either of them because I'm stuck in this weird freaking place where I, I don't feel like I should open them. I mean, I feel like they're collectible. I I mean, I know. It's ridiculous. I should just open one and drink it. And honestly, if you want to see me open one of these and drink it and go against what I was actually having a really hard time doing, uh, leave a comment in the video, uh, in the comment section. And, and maybe if I get enough people thinking that I should, I'll pop one of these bad boys open and try it. I heard that it's fantastic, but for the time being... I regret buying them because it was it was two hundred and sixty dollars that I've done nothing with. I'm not enjoying them. They're just sitting on a shelf. They look really pretty, but who cares? So what? It was a waste of money. I regret buying them. So there's my four. I regret buying. If I were you, I wouldn't buy them unless maybe the McCallans buy those, but drink them. Don't buy the Woodford. It's not good. Uh, Lafroy is an individual taste. I mean, I don't know. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that want to buy Lafroy. No. So what about? the three whiskeys that I didn't buy that I wish I would have bought in this. This is a sore subject, i got to be honest. So I should have bought these and I hesitated. Probably because the bottles were all pretty expensive. And I was kind of afraid of this kind of thing happening. But in retrospect, I would have been happy with them and I should have bought them. So I'm going to show you pictures of these because obviously I don't have the bottles. I didn't buy them. Or I'd be love to show them to you, but I'm I can't show them to you because I didn't buy them. So the first one is a couple of years ago, I had it was last year I think I had an opportunity to buy Middleton Very Rare 2021. I have a bottle of Middleton Very Rare 2017 that I absolutely love. It's one of my very favorite Irish whiskeys, and it popped up. It was at the Costco. It was it was relatively inexpensive. I mean Middleton's very expensive, but it was like 179 dollars. I mean, Middleton's Middleton goes over 200 a lot in in probably is a lot more than that now if I try to buy that bottle. I didn't buy it. I figured I had one. I don't need a bunch of these big old boxes from Middleton, so I didn't buy it, and I immediately regretted it. I went back to try and get it. It was already gone. I should have bought it. Total regret. Um, I, I'll never make that mistake again. If I see Middleton again, I'm just going to buy it, and I'm going to end up with this huge display of all these big wooden boxes, and I, I'll be happy. So the second one... Uh, just a few months ago, because this is one you guys will all be familiar with if you're watching a lot of whiskey tube, but the Ardbeg uh, Fermutation. So maybe you guys have heard of the Ardbeg Fermutation. It was the experimental, and I don't know if they did it on purpose or not, uh, bottling where some accident happened and they let it age longer or ferment longer and it turned into this wonderful, amazing thing. So I'll never know because I didn't get a bottle. I had an opportunity to buy a bottle at retail. You know, one of my local liquor stores got in a case 
and he offered it to me and I balked because I'm still fairly new to, to Isla's and this terrible medicinal stuff got me a little freaked out about Isla's. So I didn't buy it. I should have bought it. Uh, it's super expensive to get a hold of now. I've heard several people say that they wish they'd have gotten an opportunity to try it. Um, I was out posting from a whiskey festival. I think it was in Chicago this year, this last weekend, where somebody said it was supposed to be there and it wasn't there, and they were all upset about it. Um, but I, I, I should have bought it. I should have bought it, and I regret it. At the very least, I could have come on here and talked about it and made a few people envious that I had it. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So, our big fermentation. The last one. And this one is another per I'm telling you, if you see something that's a great opportunity and you know it's a great opportunity, just grab the freaking thing. There's a few things that are universal. If you see a bottle of Blanton's at MSRP, just buy it. If you don't have one, just buy it. Don't think about it. Just buy it. It's good to have one. You got Mine's not even open. I just have it to have it. I mean, I've, ha I've had it before. It's good bourbon. I, didn't, I bought the bottle to have it on the shelf. So the last one is Old Fitzgerald 11-year bottled and bond. It's the one that came out this year. Um, amazing, cool bottle. They put them in these decanters. Uh, I know for a fact that they're generally a good release, that people like them. They're delicious. You'll see, uh, you'll recognize the bottles in the backgrounds of a lot of people's uh, videos. I don't have one in the background of my video because I didn't buy it. Again, same place that the fermentation came up. It was a liquor store. I was there behind the counter. Um, I think I actually posted a picture of the box on my Instagram account, uh, at Whiskey Bonded on Instagram. Uh, because I knew what it was, and I was excited to see it, because you never see it anywhere. And he wanted, I think he wanted just a hair over retail for it. I'm not exactly sure what retail is, but I think he wanted about 200 bucks for it, and I hesitated. And I shouldn't have, I should have just bought it. I mean, I knew what it was, uh, just to have a bottle of it, you know, not unlike my Blanton's here. I should have bought a bottle of it, but it was, you know, $200, I've never had old Fitzgerald. So I wasn't really sure what to do, and I hesitated, and I didn't buy it. And of course, when I go back, it's gone. So Old Fitzgerald, 11-year, bottled in bond. That's my third. Should have bought it. Didn't buy it. Immediately regretted it. Should have bought it. Don't be like me. If you see these things, just buy them. So there you have it. My four, bottom, and wish I hadn't have, and the three that I'd like to switch those four out for that I didn't buy and I wish I would have and I immediately regretted all of those decisions. So if you've got one that you regret buying or regret not buying, post it in the comments. Maybe make a video and make a link to me. Let me, let me know what the ones that you've got that you don't like. I'd love to hear that. In the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Uh, come and check me out on Instagram, at Whiskey Bonded. It's super easy to get a hold of me there. I love to have conversations. I have conversations with people uh, quite a bit on there, and I'm actually putting together a video based on a request or a suggestion of somebody on the Instagram. I, I really appreciate it, and I'll look forward to talking to you guys all there. So in the meantime, I'm Conrad. This is Whiskey Bonded. Don't be like me. Make smart whiskey decisions, and Cheers to 1920. That's good stuff. See you guys next time. Hmm. I wonder if anybody would be interested in watching me drink Old Forester for the next 40 minutes. That is really good stuff, man. I'm gonna get, I don't know how many bottles of this I got. Mm. This stuff can be as bad as I remember. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. <coughs> no, actually, that's that's pretty good. <laughs>